Bar, Classic Cars and Coffee, University of Western Australia. And today we're looking at this what year mini mo? 1980. 1980s. Actually, that's quite late. You've surprised me. If you'd have said 65, I would have believed it. So a 1980 mini mo. Um, no car connects you with the driving experience more than a mini mo. Literally, it's like there's not much to it. You're exposed to all the elements. And I do note on one of the rainiest September days we've had in years, Peter <laughs> decides to bring the mini moat with no roof. Let's hop in. So there's red paint on the dash. There's green paint on the dash. There's green paint under the dash from its, its army heritage. So this is an um, Australian delivered, Australian army car. Yes, yes. What did they use them for? Uh, what I've worked out Amusement? Is, uh, well, they sort of said reconnaissance, but in okay. fact they weren't allowed to drive the leopard tanks down the pub. They needed something. <laughs> Fair small, enough. I believe. <laughs> it's the only reason I've ever worked out. So they were essential transport essential then? Essential transport, <laughs> indeed. Indeed. And this, this particular one was the very last one on the army register. Wow. That, that uh, yeah, just when they bought them in the, in the 80s, they yes. stopped buying this as the last batch. And for some reason, this one got the very last army number, 31202. So with a mini moat, basically it's a, it's a whole lot of folded steel that forms a box, because these yep. got these broad um, boxes. chassis boxes yes. on the side, which gives yep. it rigidity. You've, the only part, you've got a, an engine unit in the front, engine yes. gearbox, yes. brakes, everything, steering, yep. all in that one unit at the yep. front. And the back's basically just a trailing arm? Uh, it's also a, a, a connected... Um, Subunit. Sub okay, so there's a subframe yeah, back there. To, um, interesting. Yeah. And and yeah, so it's got cast arms on it. Um, yes. Rubber cone suspension. Ah, so that's the Isagonis um, Alex. Isagonis the. Um, yes. No. Yep. Uh, so Alex Moulton designed the cone suspension. Who went on to design the uh, Moulton bicycle? Yep. It also has a rubber cone suspension. Fantastic design. That that whole thing was about fitting. A suspension part into a very very small space. Yes, yes. And yes. and this is an example yeah, of it. Yep. Quite fantastic. And what's unique about this one? What have you done? Uh, well, apart from the the paint job, the the number plates. Oh, the beautiful too. Plates, well done. Um, there's there's not much original on it. The um, the wheels have been dished. They're wider than they okay. should yep. be, which the original owner did. And he put a an LS mini front end in it. So the subframe. Yep. Disc brakes, Which is a late model that. Clubman Mini yes, front end, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. The very, in fact, they were the last Minis made in Australia. Yep. With the LSs, um, with so 1275 yep. uh, motor in there. Um, and just recently, I've taken that 1275 motor out and put in a, a nicely uh, modified 998 motor, which is okay. what the Moke came with. What yes. this would have had. So you've gone down in capacity. Well, I've gone down to 1240 because it's been oh, okay. so you've bought put, up again. Oh, I yes. understand. Yeah. So it's, it's a, a modified motor, modified wheels, modified paint job, not a stock <laughs> steering wheel. How long have you had it? Uh, about 25, 26 years. Wow, so you, you literally you know, you know this car intimately. You know everything that's been done to it. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. yeah. I might point out now that it's raining in, in this <laughs> mini moat as we, as we sit here. Uh, what do you love the most about owning and driving this car? It's just so much fun to drive. Yeah. Um, you know, you just drive it, you get a big smile on your face. Yeah. And people talk to you. Um, it's, that's called pity. It's, it's, that's what that's called pity. You yeah. get thumbs up, you get waves from people <laughs> as you go past. Uh, oh, another modification which is perfect today, you'll notice no wiper motor. Nice. I have wipers, but no <laughs> wiper motor. Because you can just look um, over the... You know, yes, you can still see where you're going. Exactly. Yep, so uh, we'll wait for this rain to hopefully go, and then we'll disappear. Um, I've got a couple of people to go in the back. Fabulous. Front, and, yes. Peter, a joy to speak to you. Uh, I understand you've got a serious uh, petrol addiction, <laughs> and we all feel very sad for you, and it's been a joy. Thanks so much, Peter, for talking to us about your uh, 1980 Mini Moat. Thank you, Simon.